our immune system is constantly trying to get us into balance. That's what it's looking for. And you said that you really like the uh, the metaphors, and I'm, I've been developing one at the moment that uh, our immune system is a bit like a gardener. And our bodies, and our, particularly our digestion, there is such an important connection between the immune system and the digestion that if we see the garden as our gut microbiome and the immune system is the gardener that is attending the garden, making sure that there are no weeds growing, that there is a balance. And we know from, from, our, from gardening that we need to have a soil that is rich, that is diverse, that is full of worms, that is full of bugs. The, we are not these sterile human beings that are victim to these attackers, which is, is so much what the press represent uh, viruses, bacteria, that they're out to get us, the purpose of bacteria and viruses, they're out to destroy us, they're the enemy. And I really want to offer a reframe on this, that the bacteria, we are, there are three times more bacteria and viruses in our bodies compared to human cells. I mean, we're more bacteria and virus than we are human. And so when we start to understand that we're made up of this um, and that our garden, for our garden to be lush, to be full of flowers and to be abundant and to be full of vegetables. And we need to have this balance in the microbiome. And there is about 70% of our immune system. Yes, we have these glands in our bodies. We have these organs in our bodies that are responsible for the immune system, but about 70% of the immune system is, is housed in the gut. 